If you somehow haven't heard yet, Jonas Neubauer uh, passed away uh, last Tuesday. And it's like, it comes as such a shock, it's, it's hard to even know what to say about it. All I can really think of to talk about is how much he meant to the community and to me and all the little moments of kindness I saw from him. Specifically, a lot of the ones like off camera that I've never talked about before in videos, but it feels like now would be the appropriate time to finally share some of them. Jonas was the first uh, full time Twitch streamer from the Tetris community. And him winning a bunch of championships was, was only part of what made that possible um, because in his Twitch streams, he made everybody feel special. The first time I went into his Twitch stream, it was after I had I first started watching his clips on his YouTube channel. I'd left a, just a handful of comments. But as soon as I went into his Twitch stream and he saw my username, he immediately recognized me from YouTube, just from the, the handful of comments. And he said, I, hey, I, I really appreciate the positivity you leave there, I, I, I want to specifically shout that out. And he named that next max out he got, uh, he named it Scouty. <laughs> and that was my first interaction with him. And I think so, so many other people I've now heard over the past few days have similar stories of Jonas. Just you'll remember like every little thing and be sure to point that out to them when he has time to acknowledge them personally. And you can tell, like, he, he, he meant it in his heart. Um, the Tetris community, I mean, it wasn't just a competition. Uh, in the times I've gone, I've really gotten to see the sense that it's like, it's an annual reunion of friends. And that was clear through no one more than Jonas Neubauer. After, you know, in 2017, when he was being interviewed right before the finals, He's, it was the first year after he had started Twitch streaming and he talked about how much it meant to him that those people were, were, were there. And, and it was, he was on the verge of tears. Anything different this time or is it just another year for you? Uh, this year, <coughs> get a little choked up. Uh, this year has been really special. I, uh, this has been such a positive uh, influence in my life. Um, it's just... <laughs> You guys are great. Uh, I sorry. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, I've been doing uh, Twitch streams, and I connected with the community again. Uh, Yanni's been on my stream. I've been on his streams. It's just been just such a good uh, interconnected community. Um, Alex has been Kevin DDR. We're like crossing platforms. So, uh, it's cool. That's great and heartfelt, and. Uh... The first time I, I went to the tournament in 2018, I, I met him briefly during the side events that were happening earlier. Um, he told me that uh, him and Heather were, were rooting for me during the speed run, and that I had some good moves, but uh, really got to talk to him a lot further uh, in the pre-party that evening at the bar. We, we were upstairs. And he said, come with me. And he, he took me all the way downstairs, all the way to the front um, where, where you could pur purchase stuff. And he's like, I'm, I'm going to buy you a drink. Um, he's like, what's your, what's your favorite alcohol of choice? Unfortunately, I'm, I wasn't really a drinker, so I had no idea. Felt bad because he's a bartender. That's like his, that's like his thing. <laughs> but uh, he... Um, Eventually, he, he bought me an Angry Orchard, which was, which was good. Um, but uh, afterwards, we talked and he said, I, I want to do this personally by this. I appreciate everybody who comes out here for the first time. Two days later, after he had just been defeated by Joseph Saley, um, uh, I went out with him, you know, his... Heather's wife, his mother, and some of his closest friends and biggest fans, we all went out to dinner. Um, and, you know, it was a big, it was a big group. Um, 
I, they, we spanned a couple tables, um, and I, I was on one of the far ends. Uh, Jonas was all the way over on the other end, so we were, I was kind of in a separate conversation arena from the rest of where Jonas was. Uh, but but halfway through, remember Jonas got up from where he was. He 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 went around the entire group at the table and made, made sure that he individually talked to everybody who was there. He made sure everybody felt appreciated um, and and welcome, and that everybody knew how grateful he was. In 2019, at the West Coast Qualifier, um, I. It was when I, I got to play my first like real match against Quaid. I, I went up to him before my match and I, I asked I asked him if he had any tips for flying competitively. He he immediately rattled off like six different things. He's like, Oh yeah, you want to do this, 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 this. Unfortunately I've completely forgotten what he said. Um but he, he had like six different things. It, he immediately shared them with me. Uh um, like he was always, always willing to share, you know, his knowledge, his passion, his strategies. He, he wanted others to succeed. The day afterwards, I was hanging out with Barrett at the convention and Barrett mentioned that uh, there was a Dr. Mario get together slash party for people who play Dr. Mario at uh, Jonas and Heather's house. Um, and he asked me if I, I wanted to come along. Uh, and I said, well, I mean, I, I, I don't play Dr. Mario. I wouldn't assume to be invited or anything. Um, and he said, well, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll ask them for you just in case. Um, and it's, as, as it turns out, uh, the, the, the guest list for that, that group was quite small because Jonas and Heather were concerned that their game room was, was too tiny to have that many people in it. But when Barrett messaged, uh, he pretty quickly got a response that said, yeah, absolutely, I, I would be welcome, even though. And I had never played Dr. Mario before at that point, um, but I got, got to go to his house, and um, it, was, it was a really, really special night. Uh, Jonas was such a, such a gracious host. He had all these pizzas of every type lined up for us as soon as we arrived. He had like a shelf where he, where he kept his like most favored and treasured and rare you know, alcohols. He brought out some kind of kind of whiskey. Gave like a huge description of everything that was was wonderful about it and un unique and special. And let us all try it. Um, I, I I wish I was more of an aficionado for that sort of thing. That I, I could have appreciated more, but I do remember it tasted real good. Uh, he was right. That was such a special night. Uh, they they were that, that group, and especially Jonas. They were so welcoming to me. I got to play my first ever Dr. Mario game. In 2019, I, I didn't spend as much time talking to him, just a few brief moments. I had kind of felt like I had gotten my time and then some with him. But I, at the, at the pre-party, I got to see him do the same thing for, for other people who, who, were, who I recognized were showing up for the first time. He's spending a lot of time individually, one-on-one, -on -one with each of them making sure they, they felt welcomed. Just last month, uh, he, I think is pretty much my last interaction with him, he, he raided my Twitch stream. Oh, noob Scooby is raiding with a party of 72. Nubbin Scooby? Yeah, oh, Nubbin, oh. sorry. Thank you so much for the raid, Jonas. Thanks, that's awesome. I hope it was a great Jackbox party game session tonight. Been streaming a lot with my girlfriend Una recently, uh, and you know we've we've both kind of looked up to the the dynamic on on screen that Jonas and Heather have on their on their Twitch streams. Like they're they're, tr they're they're really like truly role models for how to lead and manage a community. Uh, and Jonas and Heather, you know, they they raided or stream. Jonas stuck around personally for a while, gave lots of encouraging words both to me and, and to a full game that Uno played. It was, it was really special. It's incredibly hard to think about the future of the Tetris community now because, like, Jonas was just like, like every single person involved in the community 
has been has known or has been influenced by Jonas. He's like he's the guy, the, the biggest figure in the community, bar none. And even if it was like e even if he was coming to the end of his his playing years, his competitive years, there is no doubt in my mind that he was going to be the guy that people would love to hear commentate games from now until the end of end of time, you know, every single year was sure he'd be like the commentator that everybody would love to be have in the booth. Um, and that he would be the guy that people would, would come to, uh, to, you know, to ha shake his hand, take photos with, you know, the original goat. Now, now instead, you know, all future events and years are going to be in his memory instead. The community is the way it is because of him. He, he truly led by example on how to be gracious both in victory and in defeat and how to value a competition for the people involved. The people I feel for the most are his mother, Sharon, who, who came out every single year to see him and watch him play. I got to meet her twice, talk to her twice, because she was there every single year. And of course, his, his wife, Heather, in her goodbye post, she, she wrote, I mean, he, he meant a lot to a lot of people, but to me, he was my entire world. I'm going to have some links in the description for places to offer, like further condolences to uh, Jonas's family. Um, and uh, like there's a GoFundMe, there's a project somebody's putting together in honor of Jonas. So check those out if you um, feel so inclined. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.